Welcome to tonight's news. Today we are focusing on the big fight here in London between two of England's biggest hooligan groups. These pictures are from last night's big fight here in London, where Brighton's fans were fighting the fans from Spurs after the match. This video was recorded by a mobile phone and that's why the quality isn't so good. And this is just one of many organized hooligan episodes. The next clip we are going to show is from 2009 at an U11 match. This just shows the passion, or as other people say, the sickness of these people. Recent studies show that in England we got the most violent hooligans and the most hooligan groups. One of these English hooligan groups is Newcastle Gremlins. They are the hooligan firm associated with Newcastle Football Club. They started in 1992 and have 100 to 120 members. They are also well known by the other hooligan groups in England. Another big English football team which have a big hooligan group is Chelsea Football Club. And they call themselves Chelsea Headhunters and they have about 150 members and they belong in the west of London. This is just one of many hooligan episodes which have taken place here in England in the past couple of years. Um, many parents are now concerned about sending their children to football matches. Um, all this ends out with uh, many unanswered questions which we have these two debaters to answer for us. And to answer these questions, we have Brandon Ramsey and Hike Delaware. Um, many parents are worried sending their children to a football match. Is that okay, Hank? Um, I don't see any problem sending their kids to the matches because uh, if they just mind their own business, they, they, they won't get hurt. But can you see that hooliganism is destroying the community? For example, during the European Football Championship when the Polish fans attack a pub with some innocent Russian fans? Yes, and exactly this situation we actually have a small uh, video clip uh, which shows uh, how this uh, happened. Besides uh, beating up unknown people and destroying the community, what actually ma what what made you stop? Well, once um, I used to be very obsessed with this feeling of defending uh, my team and uh, like being loyal to my friends, uh, but then uh, once I brought my uh, kid to um, to a match. And when we were when we were walking home, um, we got attacked, assaulted, um, and it uh, lost his leg. Okay. Um, so Hank, is this is it okay that the police police uh, needs to watch you guys and cover up what you're doing? Um, I think it would be <coughs> better if the police just stayed out of this. If they're just making uh, all this worse. Okay. So, let this uh, be tonight's conclusion uh, of tonight's debate. Um, so, Hank's opinion uh, is that the police and children um, 
just if the police and children just stayed out of all of this, they would never get hurt, and it would all be better. Um, Brandon means that all of uh, this only destroys the community, and in the worst situation, it could it it could destroy young boys and girls' lives.